welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show live stream. Now, if you're used to trigger, as I always say, if you're used to trigger, leave now because this ain't going to be the show for you today. Now, what we're going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to get everything situated right now, is about this ridiculous list that a whole bunch of black women have made. A list that says that you're not good enough if you take me to X, Y, and Z. And we're not going to play that today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a live stream reaction video of that list. Also, I'm going to show you some knucklehead mustard back helpers who were taken out to some of these locations so you can see how they act. Ungrateful, unthankful. So let me go ahead and get started. We're going to tear it apart. What I'm going to do right now is play something from the Breakfast Club. If you're not familiar with these people, you got Charlemagne the God and uh, DJ Envy, who we probably going to go to prison the next week or so. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and play this right now. One second, and I'll pull it up for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll say where the music at. Here is a list of places women absolutely refuse to mm. go on on a first date. Nowhere. Right? They don't want no date. <laughs> Number one, Cheesecake Factory. Mm. Okay. Number two, Applebee's. Mm. Three, Chili's. Mm. Four, Chipotle. Mm. Five, Olive, Olive Garden. Mm. Six, the movies. The only one I agree with a little bit because you can't talk to the person movies. in the movies. It's the movies, it's the movies okay. right. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Lobster's on here. Your uh, house, mm, I totally I agree hop, with your house. Denny's, the your gym, house. church, Starbucks, coffee dates. Ice I'm still tripping about the fact that a black woman does not want to go to church. As religious as you claim to be, I swear to goodness, ain't you a Proverbs 31 woman? So why in the hell can't a man bring you to church? I'm not saying it has to be a first date or anything like that, but you absolutely said no church, no God. But you a Proverbs 31 woman. You one of those women that say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Hallelujah. You one of them people, right? But you put that on the list of where you don't ever want a man to take you to, you hypocrite. Ice cream dates, all right? The question is, where is a good first date to take okay. somebody? I'm hey, the, I don't know why sports events is on here. So you mean to tell me if I had courtside seats somewhere? You we can't want to go, go? go courtside to the see the, the Knicks. Why is it courtside? Any tickets to the go to the game? I'm with you. Be courtside. Courtside I'm with you. Expensive. I got tickets to the Super Bowl. You don't want to come? <laughs> you don't want to go? Okay, right. well, me and somebody else going to see y'all shit, and you stay your stupid ass home. <laughs> that is crazy. They do not care to whatever event you want to go to. It could be a place where they have the time of their lives. They just don't give a damn. Don't take me to go sit courtside to watch LeBron or anyone else. Don't take me to anything like that. You got to do exactly what I say because I am a self-entitled, stuck-up, musty back helper. That's what I get from it. I don't know what you get from it. Let's keep going. <laughs> like, it's the problem I have with all of these lists. Once again, y'all are not thinking about the person. Mm -hmm. It's always something superficial. What can the person buy me? Where can the person take me? <laughs> it's never about the individual. Y'all going to miss out Taylor on good upset. people because of these... Exactly. You women today are shooting yourselves in the foot. You are so materialistic. I saw a video where a man on the street pulls aside two young ladies and he asked them a question. It sounded stupid, but you got to hear the reaction. He asked them, what would make you not want to date a man? And one of these women said, if he doesn't have an iPhone, I don't date men who have Androids. I, he got to have an iPhone, an Apple. You women have become so corrupt with materialism at a young age that you don't realize that as you get older and when you will get older, if God lets you get it that get that far, you got you done pissed away all the good men that have come to you over dumb shit. Let's keep going. Stupid ass expectations yes. that y'all have. Well, Taylor yes. says she don't want to go to none of these places. She don't want she don't, Taylor one of our restaurants. Taylor made it. She don't want to go to none of these restaurants. <laughs> she don't want to go to nothing with, with pretty much a chain. Right. We talked about TJ and Friday. She's right. from Philly. <laughs> and TJ and Friday used to be popping in <laughs> Philly. She don't want to go to the first be there. It used to be like a club on Friday. Nice we did the same thing in the 757. <laughs> you don't want to go to church with a person? It says church they, on here. Well, they say <laughs> those who pray together stay together. Right. All I'm saying is for in New York, mm -hmm. all these restaurants, and you can't be creative and think like oh this is a unique spot we can Applebee's go to. Applebee's is creative. You no it's Applebee's. not. Right. Applebee's is great. Not in my Olive age. Don't great. take me to <laughs> that shit. A, Cappuccino asked the question earlier. What if that man is testing it's you? testing you. Don't. Then we're not going to date well, then. Don't test guess me. Guess what? You would have never been the queen of the moon. I didn't know. Because that whole <laughs> thing. Thing. Akeem was testing Lisa the entire time. to see what she was about. And if I'm a guy who got me, like if, if I'm a guy who's rich and I'm dating beneath me, that's what the women say, mm. right? I'm dating for dating beneath me because she's not on my financial level. Yeah. Ooh. I might run into some tests to see where her head is. Don't talk to you. So why don't you just talk to Exactly. Me? Women say that they are dated beneath them if they don't take them to some fancy restaurant. But if a man got money, 
majority of the time if a man got money he's already dating beneath him because majority of the time you women have babies from other men you have a poor credit score you're struggling your damn sewing wig about to fall off your head you got traction alopecia you're losing all your edges there's all kind of things you got going on for a man who got money now let me go ahead and put some people on the screen that came on right quick let me shout out to mama gemini i see you I got your email too. I'll be using that information that you sent me for an upcoming video and upcoming live stream. Thank you for that very much. What's up, Jayhawk? I see you, man. I see you out there. Let's see, uh, Devin Keese. What's up, man? Good evening to you as well, man. Let's see. What's up, B Stanton versus the world? What's up, Jay Hill? Got to catch you live today, man. I'm glad you got to catch it, man. Let's see who else up here. Just popped up. Hello, Mr. Hill. Hand peek. I think when y'all be sending emojis, it don't really show it. It just tells you um, what it is. I think you send an emoji behind it or something. But it says, hello, Mr. Hill. And it says, hand pink waving, hand pink waving. <laughs> I guess you're saying hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining the show today. Let's get back into the subject matter right quick. I got a good show for you today. I mean, instead of trying to run tests like little kids. Because when I talk to you, you tell me that I can't take you to Cheesecake Factory, right. Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle. Because I'm not a little kid. Chipotle. You're not a little kid. Not my first date. Why not? You just want food in the conversation. No, I don't like cheesecake, actually. <laughs> so let, me say, let, me, let me ask you this. You, you meet a guy somewhere, right? You a woman. You meet a guy somewhere. I have to go to a park and walk. Let me ask you this. Oh, here you go. Yes. Now you're going to say he's cheap. He ain't do nothing with you. Then you probably going to talk about the man's walking shoes. You meet a guy somewhere, right? This guy. Is, you, you like this guy he's attractive he got great conversation you like really enjoyed this right. hour so you talk to him and he was like yo can i take you out and you're like yeah and he take you to olive garden red lobster now all of a sudden you don't like him no you more you don't want to get out the car if he really considered me he wouldn't he would understand that i do not want to go to a chain no, restaurant but, right? now unless you told him that it's another thing if look if we went to like a game or something like that what happened to women that was just thankful and appreciative of what anybody did for him Y'all are so spoiled. Y'all have been taught delusional beliefs that a man is supposed to give you everything. So you don't know the difference between a sucker and a provider. Because you want suckers. You don't want a provider. A provider is someone's going to be in a relationship with you and do everything he can to provide for you in the relationship and the children in that relationship that there are though in that type of relationship. A sucker is someone spending money just to keep your happy ass happy all the damn time and just want to make sure that he puts your emotional um, state of being above his, he puts you on a pedestal. Everything you want and you desire and dream for, that's what he's going to put his money towards. He don't give a damn about himself. He doesn't care if he's with you, if he feels down and out, as long as he make you smile. That's a sucker. And the problem is, the reason why y'all making this dumbass list because you are coming across men of means who want to be generous and nice to you, but you're shutting them down because they're not suckerish enough. Women, you are the reason why the community is falling apart. You can't have a strong family with a stubborn ass mule of a woman. Always complaining, always bickering, always talking shit. You can't do nothing. I can't feed you. You know how many people would love to go to a cheesecake factory or a red lobster or love to go to a sporting event where you got courtside seats. But for today's modern day woman, that's just not enough. And what's so funny about these type of women is. They expect you to do for them the things that they have no ability to do for themselves. They ain't got no money to buy no damn court size ticket to some of these games. They don't got enough money to go out and splurge in the mall. They ain't got no enough. Some of you don't have enough money to go to Cheesecake Factory and eat well. Some of you will pass up Cheesecake Factory and go to Domino's or some shit like that because it's too high for you to go to Cheesecake Factory. Some of that, those places, they got meals that cost that you cannot pay for yourself. So you're looking for a fucking sucker. And that's the reason why you're suffering. Let's keep going. That and then we're trying to find something to eat, and then we just go to Applebee's. Cool, but that cannot what be. What if he's acting his wage? What if that's all he can afford? What if that's all he can afford to do right. on his first date? Plenty of restaurants that act his wage too instead of a chain restaurant. How you know that? We're in New York. You don't know what his wages. Uh, Taylor, right? I'm not walking you around Philly in no park. Man. Uh, I'm not walking you around Central Park because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> don't I just nothing. did it on Sunday. It was fun. You know what? I, that, they should have both got robbed. But the fact robbed. that the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the person is considering you and even wants to be seen with you in have. public. I, I, my thing is, they want to be seen with you in public and enjoy your conversation. Yeah, that's great. And this, company. So be I'm, creative and find a unique uh, spot. Now listen to what she said. They want to be seen with you in public. Forget the rest of the shit she said was like, I want to enjoy your company and conversation. No, she was right the first part of that sentence. 
They want to be seen. You know why? Because a modern day black woman, my most humble opinion, walks around as if they asses are on a reality TV show 24-7, 365. They want people to see them. They want to be people to feel impressed by them, to see them. Ooh, girl, look kind of um, bad she got. Ooh, girl, look where he taking her. Ooh, girl, who that he was in the car with that drove that Mercedes Benz? They don't give a shit about you. They give a shit about themselves. They want their own status. And if it means stepping on a man to get there, using him, doing him terrible and bad, they're willing to do that. Some of these women shit on their children to get to the top. What do I mean? Some women would choose men over their children because that man is pleasing them in some kind of way. Because they don't have no natural affection for their own damn kids. And it's true, especially in the hoods of color. Let's keep going. You know what? Let me go and get out this and go to the other stuff like that. I think y'all got the gist of that um, interview. Now, I'm going to um, show you some behavior, some clips that you've seen, some clips you haven't seen before, before I start showing that list, that notorious, infamous list of mustard back turd donkey helpers who created overnight. So how do y'all do that? Do y'all have a congregation of mustard back helpers? Y'all get together and y'all talk about, hey, what's the dumbest shit we can say today for everybody to get mad on social media? Is that how y'all do that? Because I, it had to take a lot. Now, let me go ahead and play a clip y'all might have seen with a woman who's going to react to it. And then we're going to get into it. And then we'll put some of you on the screen right quick. But first, let's get to this part. I've been going on dates for the past two weeks. When I say I'm not satisfied, this what the fuck I got the truth. When you take me on a date, you open up my fucking door. You open up the door. You pull out the chart if it's a chart. And you cut my fucking steak if it's a steak. I now, I'm not the smartest man in the room. So maybe y'all have to help me, man. What the fuck is a chart? I'm, I'm country. Now, I'm a small country town boy that moved to Houston. I know I got a little accent like her. We say, you don't say here, we say her. When she said, sure, it sounds like you know something wrong with her. But this masculine energy that's coming from her, this is why that man probably didn't do any of that stuff because you cannot hide that, ladies. I can deal with a woman and I can tell if she's fine and sexy or not that she's trying to hold back that ghetto ratchetness in her because she want me to spend money on her because she want to try to impress me. If she see me because I got nice things, she don't want to come out like that. But if you mess around getting a relationship with that woman, the moment she get pissed off, you're going to see Michael, uh, what's her name, Jeffrey Dahmer come out of her ass. You're going to see all of them. I'm always gonna order a steak to see if you got some fucking home training, ho. If you take a female on a date, she order a steak, you cut it. Right there. That lets you know everything I said was right. The moment she said, take me out, ho. That's how she gonna talk to you in an argument. That's exactly, and she gonna have her grill busted wide open. And I don't, I don't promote domestic violence, but it'll make a man think these type of thoughts. You know what I mean? Got some fucking home training, ho. If you take a female on a date, she order a steak, you cut it. The fuck? They pre-cut it, then you cut it. Be a gentleman. Be the gentleman. You trying to gently touch on his ass? Do the work. Do the work. We're going on multiple dates. You want some ass for me? We're going on multiple dates. We putting in effort. Bitch, we doing what we got to do to get some ass. Fuck off. Oh, Before I let this woman um, respond to that, that weird old woman that was just talking right quick, let me put some of y'all on the screen. And get the likes up before you get the circus music. Get my likes up. Let me see what I got for the likes right quick. We got... 39 watching. I only got 23 likes. I need to give me about 5 or 10 more likes before we continue. Until then, before I hit you with the circus music, let me go ahead and put some of you on the screen. What's up, Johnny Colquitt? Thank you, man, for the compliment, man. Uh, Carlos X, recommend a Cubano sandwich at Cheesecake Factory. I paid $64 with tips last time. Not cheap. I know. The Cheesecake Factory, when do people start thinking that's cheap? You can easily spend a good little grip. I mean, seriously. So I don't know why they act like the Cheesecake Factory is like Taco Bell or some shit. It's, it's not. Okay. So two mil. Oh, my boy in there. I remember you, man. You're the, um, the Hebrew Israelite. I never forgot that conversation. Uh, good evening to you too, Colin Elam. Yeah, that's a very intelligent brother right there. Anybody who wants to join the show after I finish my little monologue today, y'all can call in. My email is going across the screen. And what you have to do is email me. Let me know in the comments that you did, and I can bring you on to the show and put some more people on the screen. Um, the 20% marriage rate in black communities speak in many languages. Yep, they do. Mrs. Locks? Yep, sad but true. He said, Fireman said, F them 304. <laughs> Passport bros for life. <laughs> Let's see. A dumb broadie council? Right, right. That's right, Autumn Love. When you act like that, you are a musty back heifer. Sometimes easily confused with a turd donkey. All right. 
Yeah, Carlo X. I am from East Texas. I'm closer to the Louisiana border, not too far from um, Streetport, Louisiana. If you're familiar with Tyler and Nacogdoches and all that stuff before I moved out to Houston area. All right, I was in the military for about 10 years. I guess you heard my accent. Uh, he said, IQs be low too and can't hold a convo because they're taking pictures. That's another good point. There's something wrong with the women today when they can't sit down at a date, at a dinner table, without having to record and take pictures of every damn thing they're doing. And one more, and I'm going to put the, uh, go back to it. Knowledge, knowledge, J Money. That's right, brother. Thank you for tuning into the show. Now, let's get back to it. I want you to hear what this woman got to say about what we just seen right there, ladies and gentlemen. So you want to be treated like a lady. You want him to be a gentleman. Have no problem with requiring a man to open your door, pull out your chair, I've never heard of this cut my steak situation because that's giving very much I can't do for myself. But if that's your requirement, that's your requirement. However, this young lady is not presenting as a lady. You're cussing up a storm. Right. You're calling this man derogatory names. Now, I know she's not talking directly to the man who took her out on a date. I get that. But the presentation does not give treat her with gentlemen like ways. It's giving treat her like a on the streets. Right. Because why are we talking like that? You're saying you are very disappointed. Well, it could be that you didn't present your requirements properly. Let me give you an example. Oh, you're not gonna open the door for me? Oh, it just makes me feel so special to have you open my door. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That was very sweet of you. That's something you should do for me all the time. Oh, it just makes me feel special. I'm so excited about this date. I can already tell you're a gentleman. Can you get the chair as well? Look at you getting points today. Versus probably what she did, which was this. I know you ain't gonna make me open my door. Did your mama not teach you nothing? Exactly. I, I wanted to play this. The difference in attitude. The reason why we don't want to fool with you mustard back helpers is because of your attitude. That is the foundation of all the dysfunction that men are having with you women. That's the disconnect. It ain't finances. It ain't about being poor, rich. It ain't about being a gentleman or a thug. When it comes to you, it's all about your damn attitude. Your attitude is attracting all the negativity and horrible outcomes that you're living through right now. You will turn a rich man off. You will turn a decent good man off. I wouldn't want to deal with you. Dealing with you, I get more gray hair on my head, on my beard, on around my sack too. Dealing with your ass because you don't know how to carry yourself like a lady. You're not feminine. Let's keep going. Y'all ain't got no home training. I mean, you see this chair sitting right here. You not going to pull this chair out? You ain't going to pull the chair out? <sighs> Okay, I got a steak here. You need to cut my steak. Yeah. And that's when I would have picked up the chair, threw it out the window, and walked the hell out. I wish a mother, a woman would tell me to get across, get up, walk across that damn table and cut your damn steak. Are you serious? A woman like that tells me that she will make any man jump through hoops, climb the tallest mountain, and swim through shark-infested waters to get her approval. She will validate you only based on what you can produce and do for her. She don't give a damn about you. She don't give two shakes of a thoughts ass what about how you feel. She don't care. She just cares about herself. That is a self-entitled, selfish woman. And I hope no good man falls in that trap. Because a lot of you men fall in the trap of a beautiful woman. Looks don't mean shit. Beauty is skin deep, but ugly is to the soul and to the bone. Ah, you gonna cut my steak. How you gonna take me out on a date and not cut my steak? Y'all may not like admitting it, but how you present, how you ask, how you require, changes how someone responds to you. That's a whole lot of aggressive masculine energy in that video. So that's probably why she got what she got in return. Men like to be gentlemen to ladies. The key word, the operating word, is to ladies. All right, somebody playing with me. Uh, we got, uh, let me see. One second, ladies and gentlemen. 
We got 50 something people in there. Give me about 10 more likes, y'all, before I hit that circus. It's gonna be the last warning for the circus music. Until then, I'm gonna put some more y'all on the screen while I look for the next clip. One second. If some of you who are new who don't know what the circus music is, you don't want to hear the circus music, gentlemen. <laughs> if I play it, it won't be no cool jazz like this. Let me put another clip up here to show you some more of these weirdos talking. I'm gonna show you what happened when you take a woman out there and show you how she don't like what you do for her. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get to that, I'm gonna put you on there. What up, Lynn Hell? Before intimacy, get a spectrum of STD tests. You ain't lying on them. I did a show about that earlier today. I stay in my truck getting money. FD's hope. Yep, I got you on that. TV and chill before digging deep and want. Yep. She's a real life stump down. Or you all. I don't know if the acronym stand for. Oh, let's see. She'll be ran through for life. Sewer cooter. Damn. I thought I was cold. This woman, I never, hey, I'm going to use that one. You a sewer cooter. <laughs> That's crazy. I like that. <clears throat> That's right. The ghost leads you. <clears throat> Irvin, Texas. I know where you at, babe. I know East Texas in the house. I know where you at. Okay. Uh, I would never take any of these, this woman to get a bubble gum. Shit. I thought I was cold. I can cook better than half of those restaurants. Like, I'm spending hundreds on a foodie. I would never see that. I, I got you. See, I got you on that one. She needs a home care. <laughs> Y'all some cold ones in there today. Goddamn. Winnings and dinings, it did, okay. Whatever TS2 said, LOL, Carlos. She doesn't need a caseworker. She needs an exodus. <laughs> What's up, Willis Martin? Let's go to Whole Foods or Aldi, buy two steaks, some potatoes. And anyway, you may cook. That's what he's saying, basically. Let's get back to the story now, y'all. Let me get back into it. I'll put some of y'all on a little, little bit. Get back to this. I want you to see how this beautiful, strong, black queen, the cocoa butter goddess of the world, the three baby daddy having, uh, you know, all in, you know, black power, black lives matter. I want you to see how they act. Let's go. But you're an hour away. You're an hour away. We're not going What's wrong with IHOP? What's wrong with IHOP? Taking y'all on a date. What do you mean? It don't matter. Y'all always crying about going on a date. Why do it matter with a... Wow, it's IHOP. Wow, it's IHOP. I'm not gonna take you home. home. I just came home. You live an hour away from me. You think I'm gonna take you all the way back to the crib? Well, that's still over here. I'm not gonna. That's a. I'm here. I got a hundred dollars. I'm not doing that. Listen, why would you? You said, listen. I'm taking you out on the date. This man drove over an hour to take her to a place to eat. She didn't want to go there. She dressed like a thotty thot thot anyway, and then she tells the man to pay for me an Uber to get back. What is wrong with you women, man? Seriously, or certain women, because some of you get so in your feelings. What is wrong with these women? Seriously. It don't matter what. Why do it matter where you eat at? Why do it matter? No, I'm going to keep it recording. Why do it matter? Why do it matter where you eat at? 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 Bingo. When I take women out, I ain't ashamed to tell you. If I take you, I'm taking on a low budget date too. For me, because I'm a classy brother, and I ain't trying to be arrogant, but I'm a classy brother. I ain't for the brain no woman that talks loud. I am not doing that. So I purposely take you to an area where people can hear people talking almost to an extent. And I want to see how loud you laugh. Because there's some people that can laugh. See, back then, ladies, they'll laugh kind of like, <laughs> it'll be funny though. Now, these women laugh like this. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't want no woman like that sitting next to me. In a damn restaurant. So I take it to a low budget. See, your personality will determine the amount of money that I spend on certain restaurants I take you to. I'm being honest with you because I got class and I encourage all men to have class and only to desire women of class. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, all right, I'm going to go here and enjoy IHOP without you, sweetheart. Have a good day, love. Go ahead and enjoy my mother. <laughs> Yeah, kick her to the side, man. Kick her out of here. She don't deserve no good treatment. So y'all, y'all women make it bad for the good women. The women that who don't do that shit. 
Because like I was talking about in one of my videos before, I saw a beautiful um, black woman the other day. I got some women, but I saw this one. I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to talk to her because I think she's going to play games. I'm going to have to deal with a whole lot of stuff. She's going to try to manipulate. This is what's happening to a lot of black men, ladies and gentlemen, whether you believe this or not. We see black women, when we see them coming to us or we going to them, a lot of us now are thinking about the worst that can come from these women instead of the best because of our personal experiences with them and also we see other people going through it with them so women the small minority of you who don't act like this y'all got to get some quote unquote figuratively balls and stand up and rebel against these women because the ones who are winning the ones who are tearing y'all down are these thoughts the ones who are following Sexy Red, Beyonce, following everyone, um, Nicki Minaj, who want to be like these people, these are the ones who are making the most noise and racket. These are the ones who are getting the most attention. I know femininity is not loud, but y'all got to find a way to stand up and shut these women down. Let's let play this right quick. I'll see you, Cap. I'll get to you in a minute, brother. I'm going to put this up there. Now, here's that, that list, that list of hatred for the black mom. A group of women on Facebook created a list of places men should not take a woman to on a first date. <laughs> Do I even want to look at this list? All right. I need y'all to get them likes up before I continue. All right. For those of you who are new here, this might be the first time you get to hear the beautiful um, circus music because here it comes. This is always what's going to play if you don't ever get the likes up. I'm going to play it until you get the likes up. I need about 10 more. Here we go. And the likes up. I need about 10 more. 62 watching. 46 likes. The fuck continue the show. I'm looking at the likes. Get them up. Give me a good 5 to 10. Some of you might be high right now. That might be really rocking to the circus music. I ain't think about that. I'm going to get some yelling and screaming there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the show. That's just a taste. That's going to be a taste of what you're going to hear. Don't get the likes up. Hold up. Let me get back to the show. Mm-hmm. All right, we're back to normal. Let's continue the show. That's what you're going to get. All right, here we go, y'all. Let's play this thing. Okay, I'll do it. Number one, cheesecake. We know who put that one already, which literally baffles me because literally what's wrong with cheesecake? There is a food alternative there for everybody and the food is hella expensive. Number two, Applebee's. East Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movie. What's wrong with the movies? Your house. Okay, that's understandable. Any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym, church. <laughs> Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, Netflix, Hulu, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House, sports events. So here's what I'm a little confused about. On the first date, you don't want him to take you anywhere out to eat. You don't want him taking you anywhere to get a cute little dessert. You don't want to watch a film. You don't want to go to a bowling alley, somewhere where you can have fun. You don't want to get drinks. You don't want to go to a family function. What do you want? No, like, honestly, like, where do you expect the first date to be held? If you want it over Zoom, then say that. Had to be a bunch of single, bitter women who made this list because... What? This is why some of y'all don't need to be in relationships because you don't understand the purpose of courting. Courting is two people getting to know each other for the purpose of marriage, to see if they're compatible for marriage. Some call it dating, I call it courting because to me, I feel like that way is just a bit more intentional, but I digress. The purpose of this, either way, however you want to call it or spin it, is for a person to get to know you, to collect information about you. And these are honestly some great settings to learn about a person. You can have some really heart to heart conversations over dinner at a nice that's not good enough for today's modern day black woman like i said like that lady said i guess they want to have their dates over zoom <laughs> so I, I guess i get on zoom i call you up and we be drinking on zoom or some shit like that right i'm gonna put some of y'all on the screen right quick i saw some things pop up hold on and uh hold on uh, let's see cap all right bro i see you there um i'm about to be done a little bit bro so you can come on and talk anybody want to talk on go to that uh, email address and we'll do that let me see he said three different offering with that's right brother see 
These bees ain't crap these days. I know. Mesquite, Texas, man. You in Mesquite, Texas. My mama had worked out there for a little bit. Be honest with you. East Texas in the house. I would take her to the dollar store. The dollar store do good for her, man. What you talking about, man? You, you you acting like a simp. You take her to the dollar store, man. Take her ass over there to like the uh hell trash can. There's a lot of food in there. She can munch on to stone some damn hot sauce and stuff. All right, um, Mr. Gino, there you go, Mr. Gino in the house. Oh, thanks, um, Miss Locks and Smile and gave me that five dollar. I appreciate that, man. Uh, ma'am, <laughs> I said, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, great channel. I've been watching you for a while. Glad to finally catch a live. Uh, Theo Coop. Oh, tell Theo Coop I said, what's up? He in um, Detroit, I think. Yeah, he in Detroit, I think. Yeah, tell him I said, what's up? I watch him too sometimes. Let's see. Trucking for Billings gave me 99 cents. I appreciate I appreciate that, man. I know you. I know that other penny was a little bit too much of a stretch for you for a dollar, but now I'm messing. <laughs> hey, man, I'm thankful for everything y'all do, man, but this is just my personality. I like to have fun, man. Let's see. Arguing on a date. Exactly. It ain't a date if you arguing. That's a death match. I am not taking somebody out and argue with them. Shit, I can do that someplace else. Mr. Gino, instruction. And Lizzie said I wouldn't even smash them. Hmm. La laughing like a one piece. <laughs> All right. I'm put somebody on there before I get to the next one. I'm trying to give y'all enough time to get on there. I know I'm going kind of fast. They pull out the guard. They laugh and pull out the door. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Eric Jordan. Oh, I didn't know that meant that. I often say rec recreation, uh, recreational use only. I didn't know that meant that, though. Thank you for the $2 donation, too, brother. And thank you, Miss Locke. Now, let's get back on to this thing right quick. Before I shut it down for the um, Mr. Cap to come on in here and we can discuss. And anybody else, I'd be interested to hear what a woman got to say to get her to action. Let me see. Um, put that. Now, this woman has a list, too. Which is really retarded. So we're going to play that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you how strong the delusion is. These are five types of men I would never date as a black woman. Number one, men who have never dated a person of color or a black woman before. I'm a college course. This is not high school and this is not middle school. I Arrogance. Arrogance, ego, and pride. In that first sentence, in the first 10 seconds of that clip, she thinks that she is all that. Honey child dumpling, you really ain't that fine. I mean, like, you smashable but you're not no model. Not high school and this is not middle school. I am not here to teach you about what it means to date a black woman. I'm not explaining to you why I wear a bonnet before I go to bed. I'm not explaining to you what it means to get invited to the cookout. You just gotta get those prerequisites in or else you're gonna fail. Two, non-black men who only date black women. This is weird. I get it, black women are great. Black women are beautiful. But to say you only date black women and you are not black, it's kind of fetishizing. And then on top of that, when you say you like me, I have to wonder, do you like me for me or do you like me because I'm black? Three. New so far, I don't see nothing on you to like. And I'm being honest with you, man. Your personality sucks. Already, it sucks. Republicans. Used to be a time when... Oh, I got back. Y'all got to hear that part. Hold on. Like me for me or do you like me because I'm black? Three. New Age Republicans. Used to be a time when... You could have Republican friends if you were a liberal person like myself. You could date Republicans if you were a liberal person like myself. Uh, but now, the way the Republican Party is right now, it's 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 not it's not the same. And I'm definitely so. This woman just told you that your political views will keep you from dating her. If you like Obama, and she didn't, you can't date her. If you like Trump, and she didn't, you can't date her. If you wanted to decide to become a senator to represent any party, you couldn't get her. Your political views. And that's dumb. Man. I mean, how they keep moving the goalposts and it's stupid. Ain't nothing that these women have said so far on any of these lists makes any damn cotton picking sense. I don't know where that, how this going, ladies, let me ask you like this. These things that are on these, these lists, which one of these things will make you happy? Because I don't see none of it. I just see a list of demands, not standards. Because you quick to say, I'm a woman with standards. These are not standards. These are demands. These are like terroristic threats that you're making to men. Which one of these things that you're talking about is going to make you have a husband, children, better your career, make you happy? All I see is a bunch of stuff where you say shit like, I don't like you if you do this. That's all I see. Definitely not with it. 
and four. Men who say they love black women only reference mixed social light skin women. Now, first of all, these are all black women. No one's trying to take away anyone's blackness. But when you say you like black women, but your desire falls on one end of the spectrum and just kind of stays there, I have questions. Like, are you a colorist? Like, what is this? Are you fitted? So also, because she's a dark skinned woman, she says she has no problem with you liking black women. But if you like light skinned black women, she does not want to date you. This is what she just said. If you like that side of the spectrum where the, the shades are black or lighter, you can't date her. This is retarded. I've heard this argument for years since I was a teenager. Black, dark, black against light. That is so dumb. You're both black. Also, before I go into further, let me say this. Um, <clears throat> shout out to Arthur L. Green who just sent me some cash app. <clears throat> Excuse me. The cash app don't show up on screen. It'll show up to my email. So thank you. I appreciate that donation that you gave me. Let's keep going. <clears throat> my allergies. I'm not. Five, any man who says something like Kevin Samuels was wild, but he had some good points. I'm not dating a Kevin Samuels apologist. Like, just keep it pushing it away from me. Ah, uh, damn. So also, I said this in my last video. <laughs> if you watch Kevin Samuels, you don't have to agree with everything he said, but if you agree with anything he said, she don't want to date you either. This is a list. That was her personal individual list. Makes no sense makes no sense let me put another one up there right quick before i start taking calls and stuff now i'm gonna let you know it's gonna sound funny because that's how i am this lady i'm about to play right now y'all can call me freaky and that's fine it's just how my mind thinks but it looks like to me that somebody skeeted all over this woman's face and she didn't dry it just got hard that's why her face looks shiny i'm a freaky type of dude i guess but that's what i saw when i see her face but i'm gonna go ahead and play it anyway y'all tell me what you think when you see her face the reason why I'm single is because I'm terrified of men, like romantically. I remember I watched Promising Young Women and like about halfway through the movie, this is technically a spoiler but it's been so many years, halfway through we realized that the nice guy that's trying to date her is also as awful as the rapist. Like there's no such thing as a nice She said the nice guy that's trying to date her is also as horrible and awful as a rapist. She says that she's terrified of men. A lot of these women are dating out of lack, scarcity, and fear. You hate men, you're terrified of men, but yet you want to keep complaining about men not approaching you or wanting to be with you. It makes absolutely no damn sense. Wipe that skit off your face. Nice guy, like ever. So when I like start dating a guy, of course I'm excited and like, you know, I'm happy and I get giggly and stuff. But at the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, when will the other shoe drop? Like, what awful thing have you done or will you do? Like, I'm just waiting for, like, that wickedness to just pop out. Like, I'm so... Sing, you women keep going into these relationships with your sword and your shield raised, with your fist up, with your taser ready. You don't ever come to men in faith or just hoping that it might work out. So if you are already on a date... Or talking to somebody and you have these fears that you most likely got through some type of trauma from dating other men pookie ray ray nook nook ray ray data and the rest of them if you enter into a relationship or dating some a good man like that how will it ever work because you're always going to be looking for like she said the shoot a drop you're always going to be looking for something to happen and for some of you you are so used to chaos if chaos doesn't happen in a relationship you're going to start shit to have chaos because a lot of you are comfortable in dysfunction some of you don't know what to do with peace when you're around peace a man who is peaceful you call him boring predictable lame we need some spice in our life let me tell you something a successful man is predictable because a predictable successful man has a routine that he follows that makes him successful the reason why you get all these damn exciting moments with Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook and stuff, because majority of the time they are not successful. You might think status means successful in the streets, because if a man is a is known as a big time dope dealer, big time gang banger, there's a certain type of alpha respect that comes from the streets towards those men, but they're not successful most times. That's why they beating on you, drop kicking and shit like WWE and stuff like that. Messing with your mama, your sister, your cousin, all the other stuff like that. And you, no man is good. They all horrible. No, you're horrible. Because you make horrible decisions. As I often say, and this needs to be taught to the younger women, especially. 
Today's black women have no, in my personal opinion, no good judgment, no good discernment, no good wisdom. They just float around and shit is a free for all. If it feel good, just do it. No real thinking, no critical thinking skills. Just, just do it because my heart says it's the right thing to do. This is why you having all these different damn baby daddies and catching STDs and stuff like that. They hate all the men because you've been thinking with your heart too damn much. You need, it, it takes elders. It takes good women who are elders to teach younger women how to grow into another generation of good women elders. Even in scripture, it said that the older women should teach the younger. We have gotten away from that. That's why we got a bunch of young bimbo buffoons running around with red wigs, green wigs, paisley colored wigs, plaid colored wigs and shit. Look like a damn bozo. You look like that damn clown on Stephen King movie, It. That's what you look like. You got a whole bunch of damn makeup on your face. You grand like him. Got a big ass forehead like him. And it's, you know how his forehead was so big, that clown on It? You know why your forehead look like that? You see so much damn scalp? Because you got traction alopecia from putting all them damn wigs on your damn head. The glue done pull up all your hair roots. You got no edges and shit like that. You dull like an old knife. You got no edge. Think about that. That's why you look like that. I'm so terrified of that moment to come. Men are so scary. I don't know. Like, my biggest fear is one day waking up and realizing that I'm married to a psychopath who is committed to torturing me. Ooh we! I swear to God, I don't think there's any any hope for the future. Let me put some of y'all on the screen right quick before I go to the next clip, ladies and gentlemen. And Cap, just hold on, brother. I'm definitely gonna pull you on. You know how I do. I got, got knock this out the way. Thank you, Anthony. Who told these women that they can dictate anything? I don't know. I bet whoever it was, her name was Keisha. Let's see, uh, fireman. They want to go to the moon. You know what, fireman? Let their ass go in the moon. Let their ass. Be a crater in the moon. Shit, throw them in the black hole. That's how I look at it. Let them go to the moon. Get them out this planet. And we, we can start over. Have a new breed of women or something. Get, go on, get them out of here. Let's see. Hold on. Get them, Jay. I am Mr. Art Green. I'm going to get their ass, man. Let's see. That's right, man. Ain't no courting no more like it used to be. See, back in the day, courting consisted of a woman who would appreciate what you did. Jay Hawk said, excuse me, my tick from my injury. Here's my list of women not to ask on a date. <laughs> really, Mr. Hawk? <laughs> All American ratchet ghetto assholes. <laughs> That's right, Irvington. <coughs> mm-hmm. Let me go ahead and put the others up there now. <coughs> Excuse me. I got allergies and I got injury in my neck. Ain't that some shit? Hold on, let, um, let me play this right here. I want you women to see what happens to you when you keep having these high-ass standards and stuff where it leads to you when you become middle age, And you're going to get there, Lord willing. So I want to talk about what I've noticed that's different about dating now. On the opposite, just dating now compared to years ago. Ten years ago, right? Maybe six when I was... Let's do 11 years when I was 20. Right? So, on dating apps and in person, there's way, way less black men that are interested in me. And a lot of my, you know, girlfriends. Um, scratch that. Let, let me be specific. There's way less attractive, successful, eligible black men on dating apps and in person that ask me out on dates. Right. Um, I think there are way more unattractive old black men and just hood niggas who are interested in black women. Thank you. That's my point I wanted to make. If you keep these high, unreasonable ex um, expectations and requirements, you will always have men because you got vagina. But the quality and caliber of the man that wants access to your womb, or should I say access to a relationship with you, is going to dwindle away. And the ones that she's talking about are nothing but roaches. Now, I ain't saying the old men are roaches. I'm not saying that at all. Because they old. You know what I mean? They might have to you know whatever reason. But the pookies and the ugly men that she's talking about, they always going to be there waiting on They're going to be there for you. And you're going to take them in because you want a man. So you're going to have an old KC, Jodeci looking ugly motherfucker in your house laying next to you in the bed talking about forever, my lady. And you're going to have to deal with that shit because you chose to live by your high ass 
dumb expectation. Yeah, you're going to have to get you an ugly man. You're going to have to get you a pookie. You're going to have to get you a pookie that's going to drop kick you. You're going to have to get all these type of men. You can't get the good men you want because you're unreasonable. Decent men live in reason. So when he comes across a woman who is unreasonable, he's not going to be with you because he lives a life of reason, which means predictability, routine, the things that you must have to be successful, discipline. All that stuff comes along with being a successful man and woman. But when you're unreasonable, you're unapproachable. Let me put some of y'all on the screen right quick. Almost done, y'all. And on cap, I'm about to put you on pretty soon. Mm, my neck. Oh, excuse me. How they injury in my, my back and shit that they make me do that. But anyway, let me go. Let's see. Queens need royal treatment. Where? What queen? Wakanda? <laughs> Eric Jordan. Appreciate the $2 spot, bro. Appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Eric Jordan. Oh, that's you again. <laughs> Thank you, man. Salute to you too, man. The military. Uh. See, some of you women, they put them wigs on and get that traction out of picture where it pull all your edges up. You got about two inches of forehead back there. If you was in the military, you salute like this. All the way in the back of your neck and shit because you ain't got no hair up here to do it. Let's keep going. All right. Um, she is available at best. Put something on the screen. That's right. Thank you for the five dollar spot, Mister. We are all, we all the way up crypto trading. Thank you. She like a three. You you're kind, D. You're very kind. I'm gonna give her a negative two. <laughs> Let's see. Trump 2024. All right. Trump 20. <laughs> I got the Trumps in there. What's up, bro? <clears throat> Put some of y'all on the screen. I mean, I hope I pronounce your name right. Thank you for the five dollar spot. Um, hope I say the name right. Forgive me if I don't. Um, Yobo Elin, if I said that right, thank you. These American black women are getting out of control. This is ridiculous. Also, I've been recently watching your show, brother. Thumbs up. You're a real gangster. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. As long as I wear Versace shades and Chelsea boots, man, Chevy boots, you know, Chelsea boots, I'm going to keep them on the neck of a musty back heifer, always. Let me see, um, no weed, no wigs. That's what's up, Trump 24, I got you. Personally, they need to get old Joe Biden out of there. Joe Biden don't even know he in there. He's so old, man, he, he see how he walk. He forget shit. He be giving a speech and shit, and he be like, uh, but, uh, um, we got the missiles, the missiles, um, shit, um, the, the missiles. We must, yeah, yeah, we got to charge the missiles up. We, well, he's like, charge the missiles up? What the fuck you mean, Joe? Uh, um, no, 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 I, I, uh, I, I mean, warm them up. Uh, it'd be some weird shit. It'd be weird, man. KS, the GOAT. That's right, Kevin Seven was the GOAT. He definitely was the GOAT. I'm putting something on before I go to the next clip. I'm trying to get y'all on the screen. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I am silly sometimes. Is this how I am? My personality, man. I love the idea of a black woman. The reality, not so <laughs> But you know what? That's deep. The idea of a black woman in a man's eyes is a beautiful, God-made, heaven-sent woman. It really is. The, the ideal of her, which she should be in theory. But the reality of her is, you know, six-inch nails, three-inch eyelashes tattooed all over the goddamn place, tattoos all on the neck, the jawbone. Piercings everywhere, tattoos on the toenails. They got tattoos on their vagina lip. And some of them got a, one of them lips is longer than the other. I'm just being honest. Some vagina lips are longer than I don't know why that is. And then you got those type of women like that. That's the reality of it now. Okay, now I'm going to get back to the show. I put some of y'all on the screen. One more. I think I got one more clip before I bring you in, Mr. Cap. Yeah. Listen to this woman right here. Now she's down and out with her pretty green eyes. Where are the guys that are not afraid to ask a female for her telephone number? Where are the guys that are not afraid to plan a trip? Where are the guys that are not afraid to get on a plane to come visit somebody that's not in their state. They they are everywhere. Have you not been paying attention? They approach you all the time. But your attitude runs them off. And plus the things that you're asking for in a man right there, get on a plane and and do this for me. You never let them get far enough in dealing with you to do those things. 
you always do some kind of or say something that's fucked up to where the man like man this ain't even worth it let me go get somebody else this is why you're not getting those men it ain't they're not approaching you it's how you are reacting to them that's what it is and most of them good men you want to put them in the friend zone or you just want to you want to classify him as lame so you can go ahead and get your your wig split by pookie it don't matter, but as long as, it, as Pookie put it on you in bed, he can split your head open all day. You're going to get with Pookie. You're going to get Pookie. Both of you going to be freaking. You're going to eat his booty. He going he, he gonna to let you eat his booty. He's going to be a gangster. He's going to be a gangster thug dude that likes his butt ache. And I'm telling you the truth. This is what he's going to do. This is what he's going to say. You're going to tell him, oh, Pookie, I want to eat your booty. And he's going to say, all right, on hood. All right, hood. I keep a gangster, man. I do that, homie. I lay on my belly, homie. I don't give a damn. Eat my cheeks. I lay on my stomach, homie. That's the type of dude you're going to get. Where are the guys that are not afraid to ask a woman out on a date? What city and state? Where are the guys that really, genuinely, truly want to be in a relationship? I just answered that question. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open the line. Um, Derek, if you're still there, man, I just sent you the link to it. If you want to join the show, you know the game. I'm going to resend it, actually. I don't, want to, I don't know if it expired or not. One second. Let me send you the link again. And, you know, click the link. <coughs> excuse me. To join. I'm going to try it to get it. It might have expired. Okay. I just sent it to you. Now, I'm going to put some of y'all on the screen. <coughs> the Bonnet Brigade. Brigade. None of them have a man. That's right. We're just waiting on Derek, Mr. Cap, <clears throat> to join the show before we shut it down. That's funny you say that. I was on the aircraft carrier. I was on the USS Kitty Hawk in the military, man. When you said that, I had to look at it twice. Yeah. That's true, Antonio. Fireman, <clears throat> you pay your bills, got a go credit. As, as, now that's a good point, man. Like a stable, good, decent man ain't shit. There's been videos that came out where women say, being a good man ain't good enough for me. I mean, look at all these curves. I got more curves than the interstate. You're more screwy. You're weird. Something wrong with you. Oh, what's up? Um, do better. Um, Theo Coop. Early. Thank you, man. I'm about to get to that 10K, man. Just wanted to show some love, man. Detroit in the house, man. Eight mile and all that stuff, right? <laughs> What's up, brother? David hair fronts. Ugly radiates like a nuclear strike. You would not get no complaint from me in that. All right, where you at, Derek? Mm. I'm still putting some of y'all on the screen while we're waiting. Derek, you must be on the toilet or something like that. You must step away from the screen or something, brother. <laughs> That's all right, Mama Gemini. You're always welcome. Thank you for what you sent me on the email. Uh, like I said, I'll be using that what you gave me um, on the doggone um, video next well, tomorrow and also for a live stream, what you sent me. Facts, facts. Yeah, man, them allergies down here is, is kicking my butt, too. It is. My eyes watering, my nose dripping. They live in La La Land. You can't save America. Yep, the other ones, yeah, especially them. They have nothing to do off of the table. Yep. And they stink. I don't know. Maybe I'm Captain backed out for some other reason. I'm trying to put y'all on the screen right quick. Oh, there Cap is. <clears throat> there he is. There that dude with the bald head like me. What's going on, brother? <laughs> I can't call it, man. First and foremost, let's get on these women or whoever was responsible for making this crazy, ridiculous list of places that women prefer not to go out on day song. Let's do it. And in so many words, that's just like saying 
they would rather not go out on dates at all without even saying it at the same time. And I then, agree. Do you women not realize how us guys slave ourselves? Some of us work upwards to 12 hours, sometimes maybe 14 hours a day, just to be able to afford to take you out on these dinner dates or other kind of dates, whichever other kind of dates. Some of us, the same hardworking, decent brothers that you look down upon. Let him talk. Let him talk now. Let him talk. Go ahead, man. Get him, man. Get him. Go ahead. Go, turn the head off, man. I'm about to get quiet. Shit. And it just goes to show you when it all boils down to how the majority of women have serious mental issues. Not only that, but our widows, too. And maybe when it all comes down to it, Jeremy, maybe we are better off without you sisters after all. And I also, I see why now, and I see exactly why most brothers are becoming passport bros. And, and due to this list, from even going back to the Cheesecake Factory Day, not only the Cheesecake Factory Day, but the Oyster Day as well, because a lot of you sisters are just full of shit. <laughs> So I'm laughing because of how you said it. I, I agree with you, man. Tear him up, man. Go ahead, man. Let it out, man. Shit. Let him out because you're a postal worker, right? Remember back in the day, they don't yeah. want them people to go postal. You used to kill everybody. So <laughs> let it out, man. Get all that shit out you, man. How you feel right now? Get it out, brother. <laughs> go oh, ahead, man. Finish it. I, I just want to go ahead and hit some more of your take. Some more of your two cents. What you want me to... What, what you asking me, brother? What you asking me? Oh, okay, but You know, this crazy and ridiculous ass list that whichever woman had the nerve to post on the Facebook because I fa I just found out Jeremy that he actually originated on Facebook he initially got posted on Facebook from then on that's how it went viral because he I believe he got posted a day ago yeah it did um from my understanding it was a group of women that came together it wasn't just one it got on facebook a group of women i think what inspired this list is that whole situation with the cheesecake lady i think because like mm -hmm. the oyster lady came later but that cheesecake lady got the most attention when it went viral if you ask me so i think that's where that actually came from and the thing is um it's a bunch of bitter women unthankful women just another way to show men. It just gave us another big fuck you. That's really what that that it is. Right. It's just a list of them saying, "fuck you," and that's what it looked like to me. To me. So, but there's you know, um, go ahead, go ahead. I also want to say this: a lot of you women got the nerve to have all these high and unrealistic, unrealistic bullshit ass standards and expectations, but yet and still you have multiple kids by multiple baby daddies, if not that, you have all these tattoos all over your body, these long, ridiculous ass looking fingernails, and to add to that, all this weed, this ridiculous weed looking like a clown in public. Hell yeah, I agree with that. So what it's saying is, what they say, the, the orange ain't worth the squeeze? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't worth you know, it, man. I mean, like, I have heard that It ain't worth too. it, man. And then the, Go ahead. The, killer part, the killer part about it, or to make matters even worse, is the feel is y'all could be a cashier working at Target making about like thirteen dollars an hour, but yet and still would expect for this six-figure man to be able to wind it down. You take you out on these, uh, out to not just a regular restaurant chain, such as for instance Applebee's, or to an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet, but you may want to go to somewhere by the likes of Ruby Chris. Paris Steakhouse. If this is a Paris Steakhouse in your state of Texas. Yeah, I don't know about I've never heard of that Paris. We have something called Steak 48 or something like that. That's places out here you can go to and spend almost like $100 on a plate out here, but you know, it ain't just... It ain't, it ain't a big thing because at the end of the day, if you spend $100 on steak, potatoes, and crab legs and stuff, what's what's going to happen with all that that you eat? You're just going to shit it out. Exactly. That's all you're going to do. You're going to... I mean, you... It's gonna be. It's gonna come out your ass. You gonna have to wipe it. If you're a woman, you gotta wipe front to back, not back to front. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, that's it's all it is. So they making an excuse. They making a, what they call the old folks call a, a mouth not a mole here. That's what it is. And and I also want to add this. So uh, women, put yourself in whoever created this list. Shoot, whichever females created this list to start with. Shoes, if. Uh, well, in our shoes, imagine 
and, and she was on the other foot and it happened to be a guy or a list of guys to post the same list of dating requirements of places they would prefer not to go out on the first date. How will you feel? You probably would be looking at, just like I'm saying how full of shit you are, chances are you would be thinking the same thing about us as well. Or we'll be yeah, going, so what we... We'll be let me say this. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Let, I want to pick it back off what you said right there about what you said. Like, how would they feel? You know, and, you know, could they give us all these requirements? I want to pick it back up there and say this. So, so, ladies, how would you feel? If we have requirements like this: no baby daddies. If you want to date us, no fake ass hair, fake ass lashes, fake ass nails. If you want to date us, no tattoos all over your face and your neck. If you want to date us, no grills in your mouth. If you want to date us. No smelling right. like weed and Taylor Port and Casamigos at where you go if you want to date us. No having a bad credit score if you want to date us. What if we had them same unreasonable, stupid ass requirements in dating that you have towards us? Go ahead, brother. And in addition, no bad attitudes. No That's the number loud, one, yeah. No no excessive profane language on top of that. Just imagine, ladies, and we when we made a list for when, like Mr. Hill, just like Mr. Hill addressed, and we had a, a list saying we how we would, would prefer a woman without none of those pet peeves. How exactly how would you feel? That's exactly, and most likely you would, wouldn't like it at all because the majority of you happen to meet these expectations or fit into that category. And, and that's exactly how we feel. Most of us guys look at that as slap in the face this crazy ridiculous list of places you would prefer not to go to on a first date and like i said like i said at the very beginning of the video this is just like saying in an indirect way and then in the same birth a direct way on how you would prefer for us not to be able to take you out on dates at all anymore at all i agree with you I agree with you. But here's the thing, man. They shooting themselves in the foot when they're young. They don't realize what's coming. This type of attitude, the way they're treating men, and they just disposing of men easily, when they get middle age and stuff like that, they're going to want a man. And they're going to think back when they're 40 and 50 that they had chances to get a good man, but they was on that bullshit. They're going to remember that. I noticed that with a lot of women. I noticed, I talked to some women. And they told me stuff like that, man. I had good men who wanted me, but I was too busy running the streets like that. Now they married. I don't. I've seen that. And that's what's going to come to them, too. When they're young, they really believe that they can always get what they want. The older you get, ladies, the more you dis depreciate in value in the dating market. Men are not going to be checking for you as much as they did when you was 20, when you 30, 40, 50, 60. That ain't going to happen. Even older men, if you 45 and he's 45, He's going to still try to want a woman that's in her 20s or 30s while you 45. So you really are hurting yourself being this stupid. Go ahead, brother. Right. And then I also wanted to slip in a joke, Mr. Hill. I could imagine, or I, well, I, I'm i surprised they didn't put a trip to the moon as well. <laughs> Might as well. That's next. <laughs> that's next, bro. <laughs> that's next, man. <laughs> Shit. They working on that right now. How can we get to the moon and how can we make men pay for it? Right. <laughs> That's what they look for right now. Only 25%. What, what did that last time just say? I'm going to get back to it. Only 25% of black women can even hope, pray, burn, candles and get married. And then on top of this, some of you saying women, I'm going to add this too, Mr. Hill, who had these, who had these requirements for where they would prefer not to go out on which restaurants, some of you can't even much boil water yet, and uh, yet still have a nerve to say which restaurants you would prefer not to get taken out on the restaurant too. Some of you can cannot cook to save y'all lives. All you right. Can, some of you could barely even cook microwave dinners. You suck so much <laughs> cooking. Yep. But yet, man, you right, man. Yet, and still, you want to have these high ass expectations, and you. The majority of you are living paycheck to paycheck on top of that, making barely $60,000 a year at tops. Yeah, a lot of them, man, they don't, they don't even have the money to pay for the places that they want to go themselves. It's just a bunch of handout wannabe superstars. They want to be Beyonce. They want to look like they got money where they ain't got no money. That's, that's one of the biggest right. problems. Everybody walking around like they on the damn reality TV show. That's what I, that's what I mean. All sure. groups of 
and I'll do the reality TV, Mr. Hill, the reality TV and social media. That's giving black women of today such a high ego boost. And the woman could, uh, with that being said, the woman could, like I stated earlier, could be a cashier, either wild one or target, maybe barely $13 an hour, which would still have the big head and think she's better than a average blue collar guy. Right, right. It's just, I don't know, man, other than like these women are ungrateful. That's all I can say, man. And I'm just, I know that they're losing good men. I do believe that there, there's a lot of good men that probably have approached these women and like they turn them down over stupid stuff. They're never satisfied. Today, women is not satisfied with anything you do with them. Like one of them clips I played before, a man took out and she was complaining because he didn't cut the damn steak. The steak. Now, if he took you out to a restaurant, he probably dropped about anywhere from 70 to $80, depending on the type of restaurant he went to. You know exactly. what I mean? He took you out. You know what I mean? He took you out. And here's the thing that what they're not saying. Not everyone does it like that. Some people may take you out to a dinner, but they got other things planned after the dinner or before the dinner. They're not saying that. Like, sometimes you take a woman out to dinner, you may want to take her to the movie out there, or you might want to take her someplace, go to whatever y'all going to do next. You know All what right. I mean? That's more money. So you already spent about maybe 60 to $7 on the meal. Then you're going to go someplace else. You might spend another about, what, $20, $30 someplace like that. You know what I mean? Then you might go to a bar or later on after hours. So you might end up spending over $100 anyway if you really want to do something with the woman. And they're, they're not seeing that. And then most times, it's your gas. You put money in your ride to go get them. Right. You got to go pick them up. Because most times, you no, know, some women meet you, then some women don't. They want you to pick them up and shit like that. So it's a lot that goes into that. You know what I mean? And then right. they're going to ask you for money. They're going to ask you, I I, I want to go to the fair. I want to go to the carnival. Can you throw that ball at that, hit them bottles, Big Daddy? I want that bear. And shit like that. So you spend another twenty, thirty dollars on that. I mean, like, man, you go bankrupt behind these hoes. Right. <laughs> serious, bro. And don't, but don't uh, forget this. Some of them will offer to go out on dates to men, whatever the guy may happen to go out on dates with them, when, especially when it comes to a place where the guy will have to come out of his pocket, only for them after the date to keep on leading the guy on and eventually start begging the guy for money for a bill, what it may be, uh, for their rent, their mortgage, utility bills, and so on and so on. Just gold digging women, and then some women just want to want you to take them out to eat. Don't have no interest in you. Don't want to give you no none of that good creamy coochie. Don't want to be your girlfriend. Don't want to be any of that stuff. Just wanted you to go out there and buy them something to eat and right. put it on and, Facebook or something. Yeah, that's all they do. Some of them doing that too. Yeah, you while while you on a date one, they ain't paying you no attention. All they doing is scrolling through their phone, I, and for the most part, doing multiple taking multiple selfies if not that texting they they actually do who they happen to stay with. They live in boyfriend or baby daddy. And arranging if the date fails, which they do most of the time, to mess around with him after the date, which doesn't make sense in the first place. That, that defeats the purpose of going out on the dates in the first place. But yet and still, these women always have a material motive at the same time, like you just mentioned, just to get a free meal. Yep. A lot of using women out there. Well, I'll probably be doing, a, I might be doing another live stream tomorrow. What's the date? Today's, um, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Yeah, so I might be doing one Thursday or Friday. I got something that um Miss Mama Gemini gave me. I'm gonna make a video out there, so I'll probably be using it also as a um as that for a live stream. I'll tell you about it. I'll give you a call later about it and stuff like that. Always a pleasure. Oh yeah, um tell them your name and your channel, brother. Okay, um everybody, I want you to make sure you tune in my channel, Cap Social Network, also known as the Free Social Network, a shortcut the Reaching my channel or going to my channel on YouTube will be at Capri Social Network 1261. As a matter of fact, I plan on typing it in during the live chat so you all could be able to get access to it. And when you do get access to it, make sure you like my content, you share it, you comment on it. Last but not least, you subscribe to my channel. And then when you have the option to pick either no not notifications at all when you subscribe to my channel, Personalize, so I'll make sure you pick all. Once again, make sure you pick to get a little bit all notifications when you subscribe to the channel. He told y'all, y'all better do it. That's your ass. You heard him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but yeah, definitely. Um, check out his channel. You know what I'm saying. I think you'll like it. Um, well, I guess that's it for tonight, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's By live way, stream. Um, huh? Thank you. What you say? Way. 
thank you, Mama Gemini, for the company. I was saying, I was thanking Mama Gemini for the company. She said that was amazing. All right. That's what's up. Well, everybody, thank y'all for showing up and um, showing out. I'll be seeing y'all soon. You know, I'm going to drop some more videos tomorrow. And, um, yeah, and there'll probably be a little live stream tomorrow. I got to figure out how I'm going to get it together. All right. Everybody, y'all have a good one. I'll see you later, Cap. <clears throat> okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank y'all for showing in to the Jeremy Hill Show live stream today. I'm trying to do a lot more live streams. I work a lot on this channel, so like I'm gonna try to do a little bit more uh, live stream as well. You know, I gotta have some time for myself so I can get me some ladies myself. You know, man, I'm a ladies man. <laughs> so my personality is what it is, man. So it is what it is. Thank y'all again for showing up, man. I can't thank y'all enough. I'm almost at 10k, and uh, we're gonna take it all the way to the moon. We're gonna take this thing all the way to the moon, just like other women. The women want us to take them all the way to the moon to pay for it. We're gonna take it. We're gonna go all the way to the motherfucking moon. All right. Again, y'all be safe out there. You hear?